Hey guys, I'm Amadeo78 from Broken Continuity, and this is Well Actually, the show that knows some people don't go deeper than the surface. Today, I'm talking about Hush. Hush is a storyline that a lot of Batman fans love. In addition to being drawn by Jim Lee, it involves a lot of continuity and a lot of Batman's road gallery in a big plot. However, it's not just a story where Batman beats people up. There's actually a bit of a mystery here of trying to find out what's going on and who is pulling the string. The story does a bit of retconning to add Thomas Elliot to Bruce Wayne's past, but it also brings back characters that we haven't seen in a while. At the end of it, we not only get a good story, a little bit of mystery left over, but we also get a brand new villain, Hush. Well, actually, I can't deny enjoying this story, but out of everything that happens, Hush may be the lamest thing. When I look back, he comes across as a messed up kid from a messed up family. Honestly, out of everybody involved, he may have done the least in the whole Hush plot. He did operate on Bruce Wayne. However, you could have got another surgeon to do that. He also operated on Harold and then ended up shooting him. But as far as shooting him, it's Gotham City. He could have got a bunch of people to do that. The involvement of all the other characters seemed like it would be a mark in his favor until you realize all oh, that was really the Riddler. I mean, at the end of this story, I'm actually more impressed by the Riddler now than I am anybody. Beyond having a riddle or a mystery, he actually gets into Batman's head. As a matter of fact, during the book, he actually does something that makes Batman discount him as being involved. The one moment Hush had to shine, he actually gets upstaged and shot by Harvey Dent. Better get your game up, sir. Anyway, I'm Amadeo78 from Broken Continuity. Thanks for tuning in. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.